Hi, I'm Gregor Paul from the Herald on Sunday. Here again with Wynne Gray from the Herald. Hello, Wynne. Hello, mate. Now, Super Rugby's finished. <laughs> so we'll have your thoughts on that. Quick fire sort of stuff, this. Radio. Kiwi, Kiwi aspect, player of the tournament for you was? Ben Smith. Be because? Oh, I just, in a dud team, he stood out week after week. And I can't remember anyone in the better sides doing the same. So he was my... He was my primo player of the tournament. Better than Ben Tammy Finner, who was my player of the tournament. Well, I knew you'd pick him as the biggest eater of the tournament. No. Yep. Uh, yeah, much better than Ben Tammy Finner, who did well uh, when, when I saw him. Uh, outstanding contribution, but Ben Smith, no, uh, magnificent. Coaching team? Which coaching team do you think? Chiefs, Point? without question. Uh, very, very together mob, quartet, Rennie Smith, Strawbridge. Tom Coventry, really good. Uh, attention to detail all the way through. You would have said, who are these guys half the time when they pick their sides at the end of the year? The end of two seasons, they've won two titles. Couldn't do any better, fantastic. Can't argue with that, that is, that is pretty good. Mm. Uh, performance of the tournament, was there one particular collective performance that you thought, yep, that's pretty special? Something like, in recent times, Crusaders beating the Chiefs. Mm. Uh, that was pretty devastating uh, performance and showed what the Crusaders were capable of, but they had too much of the wavy line, I think, in performance to get it done this year. Lost out in the semi-finals as well to the eventual winners, but that was, that was a standout performance for me. You, do you have one? Uh, I actually thought the Chiefs win in the semi-final, reversing that, okay. that, that scenario where they were. They did have their root firmly pulled out of the ground when they went down to Christchurch. It takes a pretty special performance or a lot of character to come back from, from a hammering like that against mm. the same team. Mm. Oh, I thought that, they, particularly when they were on the ropes for 45, 50 minutes. And the other one, I, I, I guess in a similar vein, Brumby's beating the Bulls in the semi-final. I mean, Huge, yeah. I, I, I gave them no show. Yeah, not at all. And they came back to play in the final. Yeah. So good for them. Biggest individual disappointment would be, and I imagine we're looking down south here. <laughs> yeah, which one? <laughs> How many of them do you want? Take your pick. Oh, well, do I really want to? I mean, there, there's a number of them who didn't fire. You could have said Aaron Smith at the end of Super 15, couldn't you? But he burst back into life in the mm. in the test frame, or Tony Woodcock, or Ma Anonu, or yeah. uh, we could go on, couldn't yeah. we? So a collective one down south, really. Yeah, uh, for me, uh, I'm actually going to say Julian Savia because he was flying along quite nicely at periods mm -hmm. for certainly the first eight, nine, ten weeks. He got a good yeah. feel from him, and then. He did what he did. Mm. He had his off-field dramas, and he kind of drifted out. In fact, he didn't drift out of that tournament. He just disappeared out of it quite quickly. We didn't see him again, really. Which now puts a bit of pressure on him in the rugby championship, doesn't it? Because he's really picked as a frontline wing with um, who ben else? Smith. Ben Smith, I guess. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. Uh, sure, we can get cover from Charles Piatel. Or Israel Dag, I guess, yeah. but really, Julian Smith has to fire up, and uh, should he be in up first against Israel Folau? Yeah, that's a couple of that's a couple of rhino clashing, isn't it? It is a Big little one. bit. Mm. Let's just go back to we'll go through the franchises blues in terms of your overall just what kind of grade would you give them? Why and what have they got to do next year? Well, I guess you give them a <coughs> C with a little bit, really. It's about whether they improved from last year. Yeah. Um, and if they hadn't, there would have been an awful amount of questions on the mm. on another coaching group who had five star rating. Yeah. Really. Four star. Yeah. Um, so they they got a whole lot of new players that they came in late to the season, so there were a few extenuating circumstances there. They have now looked at those players, they understand what a long campaign takes so next year I would be expecting them to improve again they may not make the finals but they should be close I would think they've got that, a that will be their aim they've got to hold on a bit better they kind yeah. of were up and they were I felt they did a lot better than the previous year though in terms of staying in games 
They yes. may have lost them, yeah. but they stayed in games for far longer. better. Which yeah. for me is a much better start in terms of saying, we've got attitude, we've got determination, there's no give up in us this yeah. season. And there was a hell of a lot of that in 2012. We'll come back to the Chiefs in a sec. Hurricanes? Yeah, patchy, blotchy, all of those words all over the shop. They got, they got great backs they got, and loose forwards. They don't have a front five. They still don't have a front five. Mm. Are they going to have one next year? Doubt it. No. Everyone in New Zealand is scratching around for some more locks. So if there are a few that are going to get picked up, uh, the Hurricanes may get even weaker. I don't know. But uh, they have their struggles up front. Highlanders, we probably don't need to delve back into there. It's just not. It's like kicking a corpse. That's one. carnage down mm. there at the moment. Crusaders are highly interesting because we kind of know, but we haven't had it confirmed yet. No Daniel Carter, presumably. Mm. That's a huge, huge loss it for is. a Super Rugby team. Yeah. What's, what's going to happen It is, and them? I'm a little surprised, perhaps, that Colin Slater's been allowed to go back there from the Highlanders. Maybe he just said, look, like Nonu, I've had enough. I can't yeah. cope with this anymore. Yeah. I've got to go back to somewhere where I feel far more comfortable. But they had a couple of other young 5.8s too, the Crusaders, that they could have used. Mm. Uh, what happens to Fruin next year would be an interesting point. Does he come back as well as he has? And I hear there are one or two other names they're looking at. Maybe a player who used to play up this way and went overseas and maybe mm. coming back to the Crusaders. Yeah. So we'll see. They're, they're, they're always going to be there or thereabouts. Yeah. Chiefs, finally. Fantastic. I, I'm, I'm still, every time I look at them, I go, can they? And the answer is yes. So they keep answering these questions all the time. Uh, they just, they have found the right recipe. I think they're blessed that they don't have, I know it sounds funny, an enormous amount of test players. I think that's actually a bonus. It is. In this competition, to have guys who are just under that level so they're there for you every week. They, they're available for all the pre-season, every other bits and pieces. And they enjoy each other's company. Um, and, and they just have a great time. Uh, all my hats off to them. Excellent win. Thanks very much. Come on.